What's up, guys? Philip at Trade Genius. Um, weekly just closed our weekly candle. Very bullish. It was actually looking like a red candle. Big uh, move into the weekly close and turned it into a very green candle. So our weekly bullishness is still intact. So we'll talk about our next areas to look for for targets and pullbacks. We'll take a look at the crypto fear and greed. We'll also take a look at our gap chart on the CME futures. And important to know where those are as well. All right, so let's dive into this video and check it out. Genius. Guys, really quickly, um, we do our specials running on tradelikeagenius.com. If you're interested in our money maker signal, uh, head over there and check out the packages that we have. Again, that runs through tomorrow evening. That's our Memorial Day specials. People have been using this in the room with great success and also in the stock and ETF side of things as well. So it's a universally applied indicator. We are going to be updating it as well as updating our slingshot indicator, which is great for when the trends continuation type signals for trend moves. So check that out, guys. Tradelikeagenius.com. All right, guys, weekly on Bitcoin, very bullish. Like we were talking about, the weekly bar closed well into the green and very good uh, close here broke above this bear top remember we we're talking about hunting the bear tops so uh, this first one around 7350 taken out uh, this was the current one around 8560 and we said once we clear 8500 we should start seeing a pretty swift move up into the mid 9000s and ultimately probably seeking out this bear top here at 9948 now this type of move is very similar in velocity to what we saw toward the end of 2017 and what we could see, like I said, is a blow off type move on the daily, maybe even breaking through this 99.48 top and getting up into uh, north of 10K uh, on like a blow off type move. So just keep that in mind, guys, on this move, of what potentially could happen. Um, you have to keep in mind as well that there's not a lot of real estate as far as volume goes, uh, volume profile, uh, that history. There's just, there, Bitcoin did not spend a lot of time up in this area north of 11,700. There was a lot of gyration south of 11,700 or so in the retrace. And then this ultimate capitulation moved down into December and then around the bottom to get us out of the bear market. Once we get above this 11,700 zone, you could see very, very quick moves. We'll keep an eye on the depth of the market too as uh, this move progresses. You'll notice this is our depth of market so you can see how much BTC is stacked up and yes you could have hidden orders and yes you could have orders that are sitting there and then they get pulled but I think by and large you can kind of see where your areas of resistance are with how the market makers are putting in their supply. You could see there was a big supply issue going into 8500 and then you notice that Bitcoin went ahead and consolidated a lot in that uh, below that area if we look here on the four hour chart sure enough you know the first initial move was uh, up into this 82 to 8300 area and then we consolidated consolidated and then finally broke through and you know the thing you got to keep in mind is when you have these consolidations and especially when it's happening right under support or a, a quick reversal of like say this fat finger cell that happened on bitstamp that was quickly re reversed and when that happened uh, in my mind i thought we'd probably spend more time consolidating and break through here eventually you know, it could have rolled over and tested this uh, green zone one more time that just didn't happen but key clues are the amount of time it spends right under resistance. And the amount of time here really created uh, the potential explosion um, scenario to play out more likely. So that's what we've got right now. <clears throat> we've uh, basically shied off of just under 9,000, but I think really that's just a round number psychological level. And I think what we're going to see more likely is this previous bear top that we saw close to 10,000 play out ultimately on this move. I think probabilities of the move getting, you know, slowing down at that point are, are better unless we have some sort of catalyst uh, where like we've been seeing the Chinese seem to be as the yuan devalues uh, seems to be correlating with this Bitcoin move. We'll see more how that plays out this week after the holiday. So most of you are thinking, okay, if you're not long into this, where do we pull back? Um, I want to switch your attention over to the Bitcoin gap chart. <clears throat> the Bitcoin gap chart, you know, you'll notice on the daily, you don't really see this gap filled over here and you don't really see a gap in here until this, this one now here. And uh, if you're questioning why we have a futures gap up here when it's a holiday tomorrow, the futures opens or the futures are open this evening into tomorrow at around 
noon or so, I think, and then they close and then they'll reopen again at 6 p.m. Eastern for the rest of the week. So that's why we have a gap Sunday night here, even though it's a three day weekend. Um, so basically we'd be looking at a gap close of around 8,200. I would be looking for some uh, pullback into that zone. Uh, if you're looking to catch the longs, that would be a, a spot that I would look to get filled. You, you might, you could very well, when Bitcoin does this, you can get some pretty volatile wicks and uh, wouldn't surprise me if there was just a quick sell down to that level and then back up. That's just kind of the way Bitcoin behaves in these bullish moves. And uh, again, very much like 2017. So you have to remember the type of volatility that uh, is inherent with Bitcoin and these types of moves. Switching over to the crypto fear and greed, uh, you'll notice that we are we had pulled back to about 67. Again, we're going to see more elevated readings and this current move up and whatever reading we see toward the top of that will, will be a key indication of the types of new readings that we'll see that are unlike what we saw in the previous bear market. So again, we're going to see this shoot up on the next readout and <clears throat> I expect that probably this move will see even higher readings than we saw in 78. So these readings will probably set new standards as far as high readings, as far as what will be the area where things get so over um, done on the greed side that then it's a potential short scenario. So right now is discovery mode on this. Now that we're out of this bear market, some of these readings and reactions levels aren't going to be the same as that we're going to get now going forward. So just keep that in mind. But currently we're at 64 and I expect that we'll probably surpass the highs that we've seen here at 78. All right, guys, well, to wrap up, you know, again, uh, very bullish. I think we're going to we're going to hunt this next top up on Coinbase, which was 99.48. Uh, again, another slingshot is firing here, which are those are, you know, rely on those on the continuation type signals for when we're in a trend. Uh, technicals look very bullish here. Uh, this area, we spent so much time and broke above. Now that's going to be support. Again, that gap around 8,200, I think, is a, if, you, if we get a quick pullback there, that's going to be a sweet spot to catch along. But I think ultimately here, um, this is our next target on the table, 99.48 for uh, this week and into next. And beyond that, the air gets real thin for volume profile. So we'll be, you know, keep your thoughts on the fact that we may have a blow off move and ultimately like we've shown you before the daily candles we see a daily candle with a really long wick to the upside uh it could be a thousand dollar wick but we see that high likelihood this thing will take a breather we'll, we'll consolidate and maybe a down bias into the ltc having and then uh, revving the engines back up toward q4 into having event next year all right guys that's it for this edition of the outlook on bitcoin thanks for watching please hit like and subscribe we really appreciate it guys and uh, we'll talk to you on the next video bye trade genius